Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and I want to welcome those of you who are new here and welcome back those who are returning. In today's video we're actually going to do something specific. Uh, what I wanted to do was make this little area, if you're familiar with my island, the museum used to be here and then this is just a little on a peninsula but it's just a little area and so I've moved some trees because I do like trees behind buildings and I'm gonna map out where I'm going to be setting up a second account so that I can build another house not for a villager but for another account for me and so I'll put that on the ground in order to keep the trees when you are building you have to have a space between the tree and the house. So that's why I'm building here. Now I have not unlocked terraforming, so we're doing it this way. Um, I've yet to put a video together about mapping out specifically, although I do have another video on my channel regarding this. And if I seem a little distracted, I'm, I don't do voiceovers generally, so I'm, I'm literally talking and doing and that is difficult at best. Now I don't know if those um, alternate or other accounts are 4x4 four four or 5x5. Five five. Either way it'd be fine. This is a 4x4. Four four. If it is a 5x5 five five, uh, we'll just make sure it reaches out on the right hand side versus taking down the trees. I will warn you that if you do this mapping out, because this won't go away until you either put something on top of it or you kick it away, but it also does not show up on your map. So where we are is the orange, and if it were the actual something that you could see by way of terraforming, you'd be able to see that on the map. Now below here, starting with this tree, uh, I did make a custom design. Again, as I mentioned in several videos, I'm not going to be using Nintendo Online to get patterns even when I do unlock the Able Sisters. And so, um, I, if I want to have things like this on the ground, I keep doing that, I will need to make them myself. If you are interested in a video on how I did this, definitely let me know below. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put nine tiles down because I can stand in one spot and do that. When you unlock terraforming, even if you don't build cliffs or waterscape, this is much easier because accessing this, it just assumes it's going to be for the ground. Now it seems a bit red and that was intentional because with the fall coming up, um, the ground is going to change so it won't stay this vibrant green. And I thought this might be more appropriate to fall. I'm actually standing too far. <sighs> This is also one of the reasons why you're not going to see the path on my island. One, because I don't want to make a nine separate tile path. Plus, it's just, it's a lot of fiddly work that I am not into. Now, I have this on my original island where I have something underneath where I keep my turnips, and I just love the look of it but I did do that once I did unlock terraforming, so it is infinitely easier. I'm gonna try to do one more row. And for this one, the pattern is exactly the same. And for some, that might just be too much sameness, but for me, it's okay because um, oh, seriously. <laughs> I 
I do plan to put turnips on here and as I unlock things or get things to put other items that look like it's a farm on here. And so it doesn't matter that every single tile is exactly the same. Okay. Since I generally don't buy a lot of turnips anyway, uh, this actually should be more than the space that I need. Now this does affect, or dropped items, affect your island rating. Now, can't check with Isabel today because she's outside, but tomorrow I'll check what the rating is. This is 12 items because I have the 13th in my pocket. And so, um, oh, and that's the other rescue run. Because if you have the terraforming down, you have to actually un-terraform it down. With this, you can just kick it away. Oh, it's tedious, guys. <laughs> but um, I think it looks good. And if you can see from this perspective, again, even though it's all matchy-matchy, because there's something on top, it does help. If I need to, I can drop rocks, I can drop nuggets, it would have been cooler had it <laughs> fallen in. And then I will be building a silo. I just wanted to do a really quick little video to show you what I plan to do. I don't have the kind of fencing that I want for this, so I might put log stakes. But yeah, there'll be a little farmhouse here. There'll probably be a silo here, and then maybe down here. I think here would look good. I like um, how silos look, and so you might see them all over the island, even though the rest of the island isn't farmland. Not sure what I'm going to do here, and if you watched yesterday's video, or where we met our campsite villager, I wasn't sure I was going to put a bridge down, but I just put it here. And so that'll be up for you guys the next time this video goes up. All right, I'd love to know what you think so far of the farmland setup. And again, if you're interested in me doing a tutorial, which will probably be very full of lots of frustration because it is finicky, um, then definitely let me know in the comments below. I certainly can do that. All right, guys, from my island to yours.